Okay. And now for the towers. And which way around is it? What the hell? Okay. You're gonna wanna see that when I when when this video comes out. Of course it might take a little while. Hello everyone and welcome back to Dead Side. I'm your host 2005 Guy Fro 2. Okay, so today we're going to start making a a start on our base. And uh, before we can do that, we'll be at the mercy of the game trying to place down our clay marker. Uh, now, some people have probably hit this problem quite a few times already, and have been going, why won't this bloody thing place? And uh, that's basically what we had as well for a couple of minutes, um, which you'll see in as well as my response to it, and also Angus's response to it. Uh, we're both hoping that the devs will get rid of some of the uh, requirements because uh, it doesn't make any bloody sense. Um, but that said, um, I'll leave you guys here with the episode. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of hunting for a spot and then we're going to be doing a, uh, quite a bit of building. Uh, we're not going to be doing any crafting because I already crafted everything in advance or at least everything that I could carry to take with us. Um, so we're going to put down a couple of walls, we're going to put down a couple of towers, and we're going to put down um, a couple of the uh, bits for the actual base itself. Uh, granted, we don't have all the bits needed, because we'll have to craft quite a lot of it still. Uh, but let's face it, if I put all the crafting down, this episode would be about three to four, three five hours long and I don't think anyone wants to go through those horrible crafting timers that the devs put into place. Uh, when you are sitting duck you can't move, you can't cancel it, you can't do a damn thing. Um, it does not go at a reasonable speed, it just takes forever and ever and ever. You're spending about five hours crafting um, maybe uh, 50th of the base, and uh, it just takes forever. Um, so that's why I cut out quite a lot of the crafting. I've left maybe a little bit of crafting in the previous episode so that you guys could actually see some of the timers. Um, I can't remember if, if I time lapsed it or if I just left it in or cut it out. But um, I'll leave you guys with the uh, video. Uh, if you like the video, please leave a like. If you don't, please let me know why in the comments below. Also, if you're not subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button to help the channel grow. And the little bell icon and select all to get notified when the next video goes out. Thank you all in advance for watching, and I hope that you guys enjoy the video and the videos to come. Okay, so roughly 1.7k. So let's hope that yeah. it allows us to build it. Yep, yeah, I put one down, it put us at 1.8. Ah, okay. So anywhere in that area there. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, getting a lot of rubber well, banding today. Yep, I just did too. So I think 
got a little action off to the right. Okay. Oh, that reminds me. Ooh, I've only got 26 extra rands on me. <laughs> That's not good. I've got to uh, swap the, um, the ammo boxes round. You want to go back? No, that's all right. I should have one full magazine of 25, plus the extra 23. So as long as I don't go completely mad, then I should be all right. Yeah, let's check out this road. Easy. I don't see anything either way. No. The... Uh, the sound effects that uh, we heard earlier was um, a mission. Could always always see if we can uh, build here. Let's pull out that area and uh, yeah, see, but it, see property. You can't build much before you're getting into where it's not flat area. Yeah. This goes up pretty quick, actually. Yeah, it's not letting it do it anyway. Although it looks like where I uh, put my marker down is right on top of a hill. Large enough area to where uh, it says you know, we get reasonably flat. Yeah. That's a small peak. Oh, it would let let us do it here, right in between Porokov and Solniki, something or other. Okay, so you don't want anybody else building close to you, then, huh? <laughs> That's a nice flat area. Uh, we can have a little look to see if it let us uh, place it. You say uh, a flat a area? area? It's reasonably, reasonably flat. Let's I'll see how tell far. You what, if, if you come stand over where I'm at, I'll show you something. Oh, it stops it doing it here, but it will let us do it here. So I can look straight across there and that's about a 45 degree angle going down yeah this piece just goes down so you'd have to have even more um uh, what's it called uh scaffolding but if it's a single base right here is uh pretty flat but that's too close this would be the absolute Peak area if you actually put it right here. Oops. There's one piece over here. If I try it here, it won't do it, but facing towards the road, it's fine. Interesting. Oh, we can continue on if you want. Well, what I'm looking at is, if I stand and look this way, I can see where the ground level is above my head, okay? Yep. If I stand and look this way, the ground level is just below my shoulders. That's telling me that you got a pretty good slant going right there. Yep. It may not look like it, but it is. Or if I even look over this way and look at how the land slopes from the top to the bottom that's about a 45 degree angle pretty close to it i think you're going to find that it's going to be a pretty good angle to try to build on yeah well we can have a look let's look further on see if we can find a even flatter area okay well it's it's your place to set up. Holy so, you know. crash. Um, that's even further north. Yeah, I was thinking yeah. of an area that's not too far from the trader. 
but if we put it right smack in the middle of both traders, it will be where that, uh, well, close to where that lake is, and close to where that uh, initial mission is, or first level. But having it there might be a nice, nice option because you'd have a, a straight run to both. Granted, he's out to try and avoid maybe two places. Yeah, well, north of uh, Journey Log, that looks like some pretty good area there too. That put it right between two places. It put a little bit north. Journey. Um, oh yeah. Let's see, we're, we're actually quite close to road, so it probably would be that kind of problem with the NPCs, of course. Another spot that I would think would be uh, where it was before by the lake. Yep. And then between there and Stefano, Stepno or whatever it is, yep. uh, right about dead center in between them. Looks like some good flat area there. Well, could, we could have a look at that one too. What's that? We could have a look at that one too, because uh, where my marker is currently, uh, it looks like it's right on top of a hill or a mountain, actually. <laughs> Looking at it from here. Okay, we got about 14k to go there. Want to go over there then? Um, you mean 1.4k? Yep. Or yeah, 1.4. Duh. <laughs> well, we we could do that one. It's a pretty pretty close to where you were before, yeah. but without the slope that goes down to the lake. Hopefully. Yeah. Oh, let's let's try that one. So with this one, you'd have the uh, this piece of road and NPCs going across it. You'd always have somebody uh, to attack. <laughs> yep. Is that what you want? Is somebody to attack all the time? Uh, no. But the. Uh, the bits respawning continuously might be a nice one. <laughs> now, I've seen a lot of traffic on this road. Yeah, there's a couple way down there. There's a couple. There's a couple. Yeah, left, couple down yeah. Even this right out here doesn't look too bad. Let's have a little peek. Hmm. It doesn't like it. Okay. I wonder what just causes it to let you do it in some places and not it's, let you 
Rubbish. It's probably it probably has to be very uh, close to a road, but not not on a road, which is the, the weird thing. So he wants you to get attacked. Yeah. This is pretty good right here, too. This is really flat. It's still red at the moment. Well, that's no good. Yeah. So it's such a shame with all the really good places, and it just will not place it. This is nice and flat here. This is yeah. what you build about anything you want. Yeah. Let's see. It's close to where we were building, so I don't know. Maybe it classes this uh, type of gravel as, as a road? I don't know. Uh, well, there's a road up on top of that hill, and there's a road uh, that we came across over there that goes by where you built before. Yeah. Why wouldn't they let you build in a place like this? Nice and flat and wide. Let's have a look. Hmm. It's so strange. Really good area to build, and it's not letting us. It's so stupid. Let me go into the admin stuff and see if there's anything that determines the range from things here. I don't remember seeing anything, but it's worth a shot. Okay. is the radius for respawn. Mm. And I'm going up and down slopes again. And it does have a deal here for bases, though. Let's see. show you and I being on now. Hmm. Oh no, that's, I'm under bases. Okay. Yeah, we're on. That's, that's, Opie's got some boxes and stuff. Okay. I hate being at the mercy of the game as to where you can and you can't build. Yep. Well, it's early access. They might get away from that. Yeah. That's a 
that's a real good spot there. Of course, you might get some headache from the buildings up there because that's where those guys walk along that road yeah. all the time. I was thinking if if we go that little bit closer to the road, maybe we'll do it, but it means we're losing all the flat ground. Well, now, where you built before, just going uh, west of there, yeah. might be okay, too. Because that's just up over this hill there. There was a pretty good-sized field. Yep. Let me go take a look here. I've reached the road and it's still red. Well, this this field is pretty wide open too over yep. here. It does have a little bit of a rise on part of it though. And there's somewhat of a slope there. There is a good spot here, though. Yep. If it would let you drop it. Come on, let me place it here. Won't let you place it? No. And I just spam it, spamming an F key. I could always pick it up if it drops it where we really don't want it. Well, this is a good spot here. It's reasonably close to the road to Ooh. close for. It wants us to build on a freaking hill with freaking trees around it. Yeah, right. I think so. Okay, so still green, still green, still green, still green, green. That'd be nice if it's green when you get over here. Green. Because this is this would be a nice flat spot for you. Plus, hopefully, some of the rest of us can build around here too. So far, this area seems to be green, so that's good. Green. Yep. Green. Yeah. So look it seems around. Like, See, this yeah. is pretty. Wouldn't you say? Yep. Okay. So here it goes. Very clean. Marks, marks the spot. Yep. Okay. Now, so. Uh, a pretty big area. Pretty much everything that we can see. I don't see any markers. Uh, no. Uh, once once placed, I can't see it either. But I can put um, the walls around it. Just wondering which direction is the road, if if there is one. The way I'm facing, because you you built your okay. other place right on the other side of that road. Yeah. So if I place the the gate yep. is uh, I should be able to let me take that round first say so where the uh, edge is okay building edge is round about here oh no wait It looked like it could go further, but after actually placing it, it doesn't go as far as it looked, which is weird. A big bush there, though. Uh, that should be right. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to set the number. Let's quickly do that. <laughs> well, still plenty of... All this open space here, and you want to build it where the door has a bush. You know? What kind of thing was that? <laughs> I could always pick it up and uh, try it again. Okay. Uh, I think. 
maybe. Yeah, it's the same. Uh, Guys that used to spawn over there could spawn coming down that hill on that road. Okay. Well, this time we'll have two towers up, and my plan is to have them on the on this side of the wall. So that uh, even when you're going up them, you'll have some cover. Sounds good. Um, I didn't get that. Oh no, never mind. I forgot he places it there. Whew. Okay, as I say, I didn't get that back. Okay, so can I place it there? Okay, so yeah. Okay, let's quickly set the code again. Okay, next shot. You know up. where those guys spawn at, right? Yep. The direction I'm facing there? Yep. Right at that little stand of trees. Okay. This might be easier in third person. Okay. Now the question is, can I get to place the wall? Yeah, there we go. Is that too much of a gap? There's one. I made four of these just in case. What, four towers? Um, no, four, four of these... Uh, Straight fence pieces. Uh, okay. What do I need to do in order to make it go down? Shift, click, okay. Is that going to be in the wall? Okay. It's given a bit of a gap, but I'm hoping that should be all right. You got a lock on it here, don't you? Yep. Invalid code. Place it. It'll be right there. I wonder why it didn't ask me for the code from the outside. Oh, once you've put it in, then it uh, remembers that you've put it in. Oh, so I never have to put it in again? Um, I think until you log out, maybe. And we have to redo the whole, um, yeah. whole setup of who's who and everything again. I think Makes it should sense. be right. Yep. You made four of, the wall, four of the wall pieces? Yep.
Okay. And now for the towers. And which way around is it? What the hell? Okay. You're gonna wanna see that when I when when this video comes out. Of course it might take a little while. to work it out a bit. But that is definitely there. Okay. Okay. So that's the first tower. Good spot for it too. Yep. That way it saves anyone from go uh, that goes up it. Get right here. Yep. Okay. Now if I could put the other one like that, that would be nice. Okay, for some reason it won't, won't let me put it closer, but... Oh, I might have rotated it. Okay. Would have liked to have put that a little bit closer, but looks like that's as close it will, as it will go. Is one on each side of the gate. Yep. Okay. And then, hit those, you can hit those guys from both towers now. Yep. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Maybe it's a case of wearing. There we go. Okay, so, hmm, actually it might wind it up doing it slightly different than initially planned. Granted, I, I can't put the flooring underneath where I'm putting the scaffolding. Unless, maybe, can you do the decking before the scaffolding? No, you can't. Okay, so you definitely have to put the scaffolding down first. Bit of a bummer, but... I am surprised that we haven't seen those guys spawn yet. In a way, that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. So if I put that one there... I might wind up having to make it a little bit wider than planned, but... Let's do that. I'm going to have to make even more decking and um, scaffolding, but... I'm going to have to make two more of these uh, square pieces and have them come out this way. Because I was going to put uh, sandbags on top. So if they if they were coming through the gate, if, if that was a thing, uh, we'd have a way to defend ourselves 
uh, from on top of the initial platform. That makes sense. So if I put these two in first, down here. Okay, we got guys on the road. Oh, okay. Uh, which side of, of the road is it? Right or left? Right. They're coming out of those trees up there. Oh, crap. Okay. I'll duck down and uh, try and get this one in. It's not on the side. Oh, I should have done the other bits. I might. Why isn't it yeah. snapping? four of them there they're getting ready to go by the trees and the, where they're going to disappear on me okay They won't see you if you're working now, though. That's weird. Why isn't it? Okay. That didn't look like it was attached. Well, crowbar's back in the game. Ah, okay. Okay. And then if we have... Yeah, if we have the, the decking coming out one more on both sides, or I could have it... Chamfered a little bit. Yeah, I might, might do it chamfered and then uh, we can put uh, the sandbags up here. Okay, so I'm going to, go and put these uh, wall pieces in as a temporary measure just so that I don't have them in my inventory at the moment.
I wonder if I could, that, could have put that inside. Let's have a small peek. I better get something to drink here. I'm down to 37. Thanks. Yeah, I'm down to 45 actually. So I'm gonna have to do it too. Can I put that in here? I can. Sweet! Okay, in that case I'll put that one there. And I'll put the code in in a sec. And then I can have this one over here. I wasn't gonna put these windows in so low, but... Why not? Okay, and so long as we can get through that door, we can then have the big chests on the ground, because we can't put them up there. Nice. So, we need now is a chamfer going across there, a chamfer going across there. And then put the sandbags up. And then that spot that's right below the where the sandbags go, that's where you're going to have big boxes? Um, yeah, right behind here. So I've, I've already got the door in down below. And I've put the, uh, the code in it. So what we have to do is just open up the door, go through, close the door. And then you'll have access to the big boxes. Okay. Makes sense. Yep. Um, could I have the uh, the burlap? That way I can actually get a start on the uh, sandbags. Well, this time it lets you go right off the ladder. You don't have to hit space bar. Of course, that's because it's more level ground. Yep. Okay. Go. So let's quickly uh, get the first batch in. Okay, craft. Can I get two done? Looks like I can. Sweet. Is this the same code number on this one? Yep. Actually, instead of doing that one, I need to do two of those. Could do three. Why not? Next time I find some of that oil, I'm going to have to oil the hinges on that door. <laughs> oh, damn it, I made three of the wrong version. Because when I was doing the top one, but it's in the, the middle one. Damn. Oh, I guess. For the moment, it's right.
That way you can at least get through that way. Ooh, there's guys walking the other way out there now. Yeah. I think I'll just put this one here for the moment. It's a, I don't have it in my inventory. There we go. Okay, it's not in the correct position and it's definitely not the correct sandbags, but we'll just have to find some more burlap. <laughs> Okay, so shall we do a uh, mission and uh, get some more supplies? Take a little break first. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll let... I see what you mean on the burlap. On yeah. the bag. Uh, you can pick them up though, right? Yeah, I can still pick them up. I think what I'll do is I'll drop down the, um, the hammer, the saw, and the axe at the um, at the trader, and uh, I might hit that uh, that dockyard up again, see if see if what what I can find. Okay, you gonna head over there now? Yeah, I think I'll uh, have a little peek down there, and then. Uh, it will take a little while, but I can get some of the uh, base building materials uh, built. And then uh, we can continue with the structure as well a little bit. Okay. I was actually wondering, how high can you actually build in the game? Is there actually a, a limit? I don't know. But with the towers, you don't really need to go that high. No. It's got a bit of a lip, but you don't have to jump or anything, you can just run straight. So that's nice. Yep. You know, you could put sandbags down right across here, too. Yeah. Actually, I might, might just do that with this uh, small one. Just leave an open spot someplace to get in to get to the door. Yep. Might want to leave an open spot on each side so that no matter which direction you're coming from, you can get into the door. Yep. Oh, I didn't pick up the uh, the bags. Keep forgetting it leaves it on the on the ground. I wonder if you can actually put it slightly underneath. You can. Nice. Actually, let's do it that way around. There we go. And then have the I have another small one on the other side, and then you're still a little bit protected around there. As a matter of fact, I could squat down and still yep. fire anybody coming through the gate. Although it looks like you're shooting directly into a sl uh, into a sandbank. <laughs> nope, I hit the door. 
Ooh, I need, need to feed and uh, give my character some uh, liquids. Now, if this was a zombie game, that uh, shot fired would have zombies coming from all directions, right? Yep. Yeah. Back to trader. Yep, just need to give my character some uh, liquids. There we go. I don't think it'll let any of the rest of us build on this area at all, will it? It's. Sh I, I can't see why not because we're in the same group. Yeah, I know, but we. I think we tried it before when you had yep. that. It just wouldn't let us put anything in. No. It's weird. Oh, at least we've got a first starter. Yep. Now those guys went up that road. So we can be expecting some trouble if we... Uh, I don't know. I guess we could actually go through there and get whatever's in in our path. Who knows? Maybe I'll find some forty-five down there. Well, yeah, I'm gonna. I gotta go to the bathroom, and I gotta get me some more coffee. So I'm just gonna head straight to the trader. Okay. But I'm not going to go up through that that place. <laughs> it's, that's where a bunch of people show up. Yeah. Well, I'll let you know if it, if anyone's up there. Oh, there's somebody up there, and I'm pretty sure I'll hear you, hear the gunfire. Yep, there's definitely somebody there. Well, I didn't hear the gunfire. Oh, I heard the, uh, the radio chatter. Oh, okay. Yep, I hear it now, too. That means there's somebody on the road. Ooh, and we're heading for straight for the uh, lumber mill as well. Yeah. Let's see. Lumber mill's not under siege at the moment. Bunch of chatter there too. Yeah, but there were two guys on the road up there. They might not have had any bullets. I would expect them to shoot at me.
Oh, there's two easy missions now. Oh, so called easy missions. Oh, one of them. We have had them turn into hard missions. Yeah. Yeah, yesterday I died three times. I think Jeez. that's a record for me. 